Good morning, students. Good afternoon to all those who are watching me in the afternoon, and good evening to all those who are watching me in the evening. Now, students, we are back with an English literature lesson. That is chapter number five from my best book, number three. Okay, and the name of the chapter it's a prose, not a poem, and the name of the chapter is Ferdinand the Bull. Now, uh, students, I also wanted to tell you, children, that this particular chapter's work, the homework, the exercises, the meanings, all these are to be done from the answer keys given by me. Now, there are certain questions which you have to do it on your own, but I will discuss the answers in my AV. So you must watch my audiovisual class properly all right and uh, secondly you will not need to email me the homework at all whether it is make sentences whether it is think and answer whether the exercise given to you with the answer key is provided all right you will not mail me those exercises because they have been already provided with answer keys by me all right may i move on Yes, Ferdinand the bull. All right. So, here are certain traits, qualities, which you can assess yourself. There is nothing to be done, but I'll just read it out. Be yourself. Yes, you must be what you are. You must not be pretentious. You must not look like something different, whereas you are look as in not the physical features, your inner self. You pretend to be someone else whom you are not all right so you must take pride in who you are accept yourself that means accept how you are whether with qualities whether with bad qualities and good qualities a mixture of both you must feel proud to accept who you are you must value yourself yes you must say yes i am proud of who i am you must forgive yourself also supposing you make a mistake and maybe you repeat that again and again so you must not pull down yourself you know you are your best critic critic as in you can assess and analyze yourself the best okay you you don't have to depend on others so forgive yourself for all those uh, errors you commit bless yourself yes you must thank god and say Thank you God for blessing me with all the good things I have in my life. You should not hesitate to express yourself. Okay? You must not hesitate to express yourself and trust yourself. Yes, that is also one of the most important trait characteristic you must have in yourself. You must have faith in yourself. You must trust yourself. And of course, I love myself. Yes, you must love yourself, all right? you have to love yourself otherwise you cannot progress in life okay so let us begin ferdinand the bull is unlike any other bull let's read and find out more about him yes he is very different from the other bulls once upon a time in spain there was a little bull and his name was ferdinand all the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt. Butt means this is what is called butting. Butt their heads to hit or push against with the head or horn. Butt their heads together but not Ferdinand. He liked to sit quietly and smell the flowers. See how unlikely he used to sit down quietly in the park or under the shade of a tree and smell smell the flowers the fragrance of the flowers okay fragrance is the smell of the flowers he had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cock tree it was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers now pasture is the grassland okay now we have grasslands in our school also those landscape with the grass that is also called a pasture it's a tiny one, but then that's also similar to a pasture. Coke tree is like that of an evergreen oak tree. 
so on the way to uh, you know ravangla on the way to darjeeling on the way to mirik via mirik to darjeeling you will get to see oak trees okay kashmir also you have lovely oak trees so cork trees are similar to those sometimes his mother would worry about him she was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself lonesome means alone lonely no friends okay no well beings around she would say okay she would say why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head but ferdinand would shake his head i like it better here where i can sit just quietly and smell the flowers his mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother even though she was a cow she left him just sit there and be happy children please excuse the noise because my house is on a busy road and it is so difficult to bar the noise please excuse the noise if you are able to hear as the years went by ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong all the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day they would butt each other and stick each other with their horns what they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bull fights in madrid in spain you must have noticed they are so horrendous means so frightening bulls fighting each other and you have a matador who has a huge spear he starts piercing or he himself gets pierced in accidental uh, you know accidentally with uh, the bull's horn so that is also now people have protested against those kind of games and they have tried to abolish such kind of ferocious games but previously in the olden days it was chiefly in practice it was one of the major sport of madrid spain but not ferdinand he still preferred means liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers one day five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest fastest and roughest bull to fight in the bull fights in madrid all the other bulls ran around snorting you know like that that kind of a noise snorting and butting leaping and jumping to show off how tough they were so that the men would think that they were very strong fierce and pick them that means select them ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care so he went out to sit under his favorite cork tree he didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade he sat on a bumble bee now what can happen well if you were a bumble bee and a bull sat on you what would you do you would sting him and that is just what this bee did ferdinand jumped up with a snort he ran around puffing and snorting butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy the five men saw him and they all shouted with joy here was the largest and fiercest bull of all just the one for the bull fights in madrid so they took him away for the bull fight day in a cart on the day of the big bull fight everyone was excited to see the toughest bull flags were flying bands were playing and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair flowers in their hair in my pony i don't have a flower but that's how they used to do what a day it was a bull paraded paraded left right left into the bull ring and you know who that was don't you 
They call him Ferdinand the Bull, the fierce, and all the Bandari Leros were afraid of him, and the Picadors were afraid of him. So, a bullfighter who uses short, pointed, sharp poles that look like a spear are called Bandari Lero. Okay, and Picadors are those mounted on horseback. And what do, do they do? You know, what do they do? They poke, you know, they tease the bull with a sharp pole. How inhuman. And the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But when he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely lady's hair. And what did he do? He just sat down quietly and started smelling the flowers. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter whatever they did. He just sat and smelled. See, look at him sitting and smelling the flowers. The Bandarelli Rose were mad and the Picadors were madder and the Matador was so mad that he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So he has to, cape is like that of Superman and Batman, they tie, okay, that is called a cape. You have a cloak like thing tied around your neck and it you know flows and goes with the wind as you walk and a sword that's how he kills it so inhuman so they had to take Ferdinand home and for all I know he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree smelling the flowers just quietly he's very happy doing that how sweet now next now choose the correct option to complete these sentences the setting of the story is in Spain this is to be done in the book Ferdinand likes to sit quietly and smell flowers his dash would worry about Ferdinand his mother Ferdinand was not looking and sat on a bumblebee the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. When Ferdinand was sent out to fight, he sat smelling the flowers. So I've discussed the answer with you. So you are going to do it in the book on your own using a pencil. Now write true or false. Ferdinand had a favorite spot in the pasture under a cock tree. Yes, true. Ferdinand enjoyed snorting and butting like other bulls. False. His mother was very concerned as he was lonesome. True. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort and ran around puffing, butting and pawing the ground after the bee stung him. <coughs> Excuse me. True. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. False. The Bandere Leros were mad and the Picadors were madder and the Matador was so mad that he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. True. Now answer these questions. You will copy one question and write the answer I have provided. Okay. And draw a line after every answer. Use a black pen for writing the question in black and a blue pen for writing the answer in blue please take help of my answers which i have also uploaded along with the pdf of the content okay the answer keys have been provided as well now all these are to be copied then answer these questions with reference to the context how will you do it you will first copy one a b and c everything okay then start writing answer 1A, 
one B and one C and draw a line. That's how you will do. First, copy the entire thing from Y till Bulls. Similarly, draw a line. Then again, number two, Ferdinand till him. You will copy the whole thing. Similarly, number three, he wouldn't fight till Matador. You will copy the whole thing. And then what you will do is you will write the answer for one. After copying the whole thing, you will write the answers of one. A, B, C together. Then again two, then again three. Now think and answer. I am going to discuss. So listen. Do you think the story would have changed had the bee stung Ferdinand in the middle of the ring? Yes, the story would have changed. Because Ferdinand would have then puffed and snorted and butted his horns around in the middle of the ring had he been stung by a bee. Okay, so you listen to the answer and you can take a dictation from my audio. You can pause and listen and write. That's how we will do it. It will be like a dictation practice as well. You can take help of your mama or daddy whosoever is helping you with your work. Have you ever known someone like Ferdinand who was different and did things that made him happy? If yes, how was he or she different? Yes, you can know many of them. So you will frame your own answer. I had a friend of my own. I had known who was very different, you know, during the lunch break, what we used to do is we used to share our tiffin and we used to, you know, eat together. But what she used to do every day during the lunch break, you know, she used to go to one of the helper Didi and that helper Didi was very poor. You know, we had her in. I, at the school I studied in was in Joseph's Matigara. So there was one of these helper didis. She used to go and give away the tiffin for her daughter. Imagine. So she used to feed the daughter of that helper didi. So she was so different. Okay. This friend of mine. Now number C, 3. What do you think is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that you should be always aware of your qualities and not change them and try to be different so that you can retain your own qualities not go with the flow not imitate others yes you should always retain your own qualities in yourself retain spelling is r-e-t-a-i-n that means keeping it so i've discussed the answer you will write it on your own now number four do you think you would have liked ferdinand if he was like any other bull, what made Ferdinand special and different from the others? No, I wouldn't have liked Ferdinand if he was like the other bulls. What made? Ferdinand was special because he did not copy and imitate the other bulls. He never used to fight amongst uh, his own friends like the other bulls but he used to be different and sit alone enjoy na nature and smell and feel the beauty of nature all right is this okay for you so i've discussed each answer with you now you can take a dictation from what i have discussed or you can frame your own answers and i repeat children please do not email me the homework of this chapter again i repeat Please do not email me the homework of this chapter. Now, match the idioms in column A to their correct meanings. Okay, idioms are, it's like a phrase which expresses a particular meaning. Okay, so all these have been provided, okay, with answer keys. You can take help of that. And then you will do this. Find the misspelled words in the paragraph. So this particular number B, you will do it in your English grammar notebook. Because this is related to your creative writing. So you will go through this carefully and find out what is wrong in the spelling. Okay. Delighted, guest. See, all these are wrong. Then company is wrong, excellent is wrong, hospitable is wrong, delicious is wrong, okay, wonderful is wrong, wagging is wrong, 
Okay, so many spellings are wrong. I did not tell you the spellings, so you can take help of the dictionary as well. Now, this is related to adjectives of quantity, quality, and number. We have done that. So, this exercise is a connection of that chapter. So, you will also do this in the book. Okay. So, this is to be done in the book, playing with words A, but B is to be done in your English creative notebook. Learning the language A, okay, is to be done in the book. The huge house on the fifth lane is mine. Underline fifth and state its kind. So, similarly, 1 to 8, you will do it in your book. You can take help. Of the answer key is what I have provided, okay? Now, this is degrees, okay, of com comparison. That is hot, hotter, hottest, good, better, best, okay? Careful, more careful, most careful. So, similarly, this is also to be done in your book, in your my best book. And all those who don't have the book with them, children, don't worry. Keep the answers with you, which I have provided and you can learn from them all right now this is also the same okay this is also the same i have just cropped it and given here now these are footnotes kindly note the following the homework need not be emailed as it has been already provided with answer keys now this is very important you must learn the spelling of all the five chapters which have been taught to you because we will have a spell b contest soon okay we are going to have a spell be contest soon please do your work neatly and it must be complete in a week okay you're getting one week's time to complete it the answers of think and answer and the make sentences have been discussed so please do it on your own now make sentences the words are from the chapter itself you can go back to the uh, you know chapter read the line where that word has been used and the usage of the word once you know you can frame your sentence similarly all right you must learn to frame sentences on your own so till here i hope everything is clear yes i hope everybody's keeping well yes take care of yourself have kara that is something which doctors are also talking about yes have kara have turmeric milk yes eat healthy food do avoid junk food ordering food from outside yes you can go through so many youtube videos which will teach you how to make a pizza how to make a burger you know how to try out baking cake so do that enjoy your free time when you're not looking at the screen yes have fun and see you tomorrow again children during the live class i will teach you how to write a letter all right so bye take care ta ta